Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Shadelle here. If you're new, welcome. Alrighty, so today's video is these hair videos are getting quite frequent. Right? So today's video is just going to be on this hair on my head, which is not mine by the way. It's not mine. Let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So this hair company, Elva Hair, reached out to me um, to try out one of their lace frontal wigs. So I agreed to do so because I'm all about adding to my wig collection. I'm wearing their lace frontal and it's a wavy texture and it's 12 inches. I have a lot of long wigs so I wanted something that I can swap out, especially with being bald. Um, that was more kind of very natural looking. So I wanted a curly wig that would be less maintenance if I wore it in the morning. Like I can literally treat it like natural hair, but it's not my natural hair. So it arrived in this cute little box, which was inside another package. And inside it, it came with, opens up like this. It came with a manual which is just information about the company. Um, Ava, Elva, Ava. Well, on, on this it says Ava, but in the email it says Elva. So, Eva wigs, I'm sorry. So yes, it came with this uh, brochure with information about the company and on the hair and their different wigs that they offer, as you can see. It came with a wig cap and I didn't use the wig cap because it is black and black wig caps don't look natural, especially if you're wanting a natural look. It's just gonna make it harder to blend and you're gonna have to put makeup and all that crazy stuff on it and I don't like to do that. And it came with a nail file. This was random, but thanks. This is the hair just, I literally applied it this morning and it's now like six o'clock at night. But I applied it this morning and I literally, the night before I washed it, and let it air dry so when i put it on this morning when it was a little bit more damp um all i did was kind of like fangle fangle i need my own dictionary all i did was finger detangle because the waves and like the curls were really tight so just to kind of separate them and break them up and then i kind of just continued to finger detangle the hair to give it more of a like natural buffon look so this is the hair with no products in it just um, wash, condition, um, rinse the conditioner out, let it air dry overnight, and finger combing, detangling, whatever you want to call it. And this is how it came out. And I actually really like it because it looks very natural looking. It looks like natural hair, which is what I was going for. It's the perfect length, I feel, for me right now. Like, I feel like this made me look really professional, you know, going into work today with this in, you know. You know, because usually I have long hair in, but you know. The hair arrived, it didn't have any crazy smell to it. It smelled like hair, if that makes sense. Like, hair. But of course, I still um, wash the hair because you should always wash any type of hair you receive um, because that's just, that's just good hygiene. You know, it's just like, you wouldn't buy panties and automatically put them on when you buy it, you wash them. At least I, uh, wait, at least I hope you do. I used to work for Victoria's Secret when I was in college. And just because we have those penny liner things in the dressing room that you use to try on underwear with does not mean that people actually do that. And that's all I'm gonna say. We've had to damage our underwear before because people want to try them actually on and stuff. So yes, I treat I treat my wigs like I treat my panties. I wash them when I buy them. The hair is really soft. There wasn't any shedding. So when I was um, tangling the hair, when I washed it and conditioned and stuff, there was no shedding, which was good. Um, the wig construction, which I will insert a picture of how the wig, probably over here somewhere, um, looked when that first got out the box. The wig construction is good. It has three clips in it, two here and one in the back, if I'm not mistaken. The lace is really comfortable and it's really stretchy. I have a big head, you guys. And if you watch some of my other hair videos, there are times when I run into issues where there's not enough lace and it causes issues on the side, especially with me, I have sideburns. I'm like, 
Like I'm freaking she wolf. I promise you, I'm she wolf. But I have sideburns, so like I run into issues with it not enough lace, where it comes all the way down, and it's just so annoying. But I didn't have that issue with this hair. So as you can see, look how natural the hairline looks. So yes, the wig construction I would say is pretty good. The density, this is 130% density. Which is good because it's not like really bulky and for it to be curly, like curly hair as you can see in here, I thought that like I get scared that like you know some wigs look like helmets <laughs> and I actually had a wig like where it's just so much density and I'm lazy when it comes to wigs. I don't like to do, I like to do minimal work to my wigs. I don't like to pluck because I am not a plucking queen and I don't, I don't have the patience to sit down and pluck a damn frontal. I really don't. I am impatient when it comes to things like that. There are times where I will do a little something like I'll clean it up if it's too much. I am, I'm, I'm just really obsessed with this hairline. And I'm just honestly obsessed with how natural it looks like. It really looks like natural hair. Like it really looks like natural hair. Like this could be my natural hair. It doesn't look like a wig. You wouldn't think it was a wig. And honestly, that's why I went with this length because it's pretty, normal i'm definitely gonna wear this hair for a while so definitely make sure you're following me on my instagram at chadel g because i'm going to be trying some different styles like an up down and a kind of wet and wavy and put some products in it just to see how the hair looks um when you add like gel and you know leave-in conditioner like how you would do like a natural like your natural hair like if you're doing a wash and go or something like that um because when it was wet the curls are like really pretty and like i said this is me washing it letting it air dry and me um finger detangling and kind of you know separating the curls and making it more bouffant um natural this hair is also super affordable i think this wig is like 90 or 100 dollars. it's super affordable so if you're looking for a nice quality wig that you don't want to spend a lot of money on but you need a new hairstyle for this fall or you want a new wig for the fall then you should definitely check out ava hair wigs um they also have a sale that's going on i will have the link in my description box with a link to their site and also coupon code so you can save money on your order you know we all love discounts so that's it for this video you guys i will see you in my next video bye